Hello everyone, this is Ahit from Inspiring Ignite. It's, it is midnight, but still I thought like as many of you are looking for gate cutoff, uh, gate score calculator, so I thought like let's make a video because we have been working really hard to make this calculator possible for the students for after collecting the last three years data. You know what we did is we collected all three years data, official data from from different IITs who conducted a gate exam. So this tool is going to help you out in, in lot many senses. First of all, it gives you an idea about where do you stand. And second thing is our another work which is related to gate score cutoff will help you out finding and taking the right decisions into gate into go go into IITs and NITs. So what I'm going to do is I quickly take you to the tool and show you how you can use better use it and what does it mean actually. So let me take you here first. You go here to Google and type gate score calculator. Usually INI is first, but even if you don't get into INI, just go to inspireandignite.com. Inspireandignite.com. And if you want to know what what exactly gate score calculator is and what is it calculating, what it is actually when you have the marks and what uh, gate score calculator is representing. So go to INI, go to INI search, and search here. I have written one article in 2012, I guess, because in 2012, 13, for the first time, the gate there was a lot of change in gate exam. So during that time, I wrote an article saying that what does new gate score calculating formula mean is. So you can go through it and you can read the formula and you can read the description about it, what it's going to represent. So we use this use this official information. Uh, we collected all official information and use this formula to calculate the gate score. So now let's go to gate score calculator. Here, if you if you directly go to Inspiring Night. Like for example, if you go to Inspiring Night, you can go to calculators, you can see gate score calculator here and then CCMT cutoffs and there are different cutoffs are here. IIT information is there and JOSA information is there. Probably this information go under this calculator and projector, predictor. So you can go here. What does it mean is exactly like, for example, I am a computer science student and I get, I am getting 56 marks, 56 marks in computer science, if I choose it here, and then I want to know where do I stand in 2015. When I click here, it tells me like my score was, my score was like 687, and then I can either use the IIT gate cutoff, I can go there, I, and also I can use CCMT or NIT cutoff, NIT triple IT, and a few other government colleges information here. So I can go here and I can just enter my information. Sorry, looks like I did a mistake. What the six? Okay, computer science engineering, gate score. And also like, I want to share one more thing here. This information is for 2016, the gate score for 56 marks in computer science is 687. But it differs in every year. Like for example, if I take computer science here, then I go, it is 684. Similarly, if I take like 56 marks and computer science, computer science, but the year is 2013, for the same marks, the score is different in all three years. So it totally depends on different statistics, like what kind of, how many people are attending, what kind of highest marks and all those things are there. But still like, for example, this gives you an idea like where do you stand? So, and you want to know like, for example, where you will get the admission. You can go here and check like, open this in a new tab, go to this place and enter the marks you got. This is for last, right? 
yeah 2013 if if start goes according to 2013 you will get 800 marks and then you can go and check here explore this a lot there are many things here that all category and every information is giving once you click here you will get the apartment uh, you will get the department list where you can get the admission so you can explore it a bit more and now in in next video i'm going to explain you like why a computer science student can get admission into this kind of mechanical and all those kind of uh, places so this is going to help you out and i hope this information is useful for you and i'm 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 definitely sure that you're going to use this to explore more till the get results are given so what i request you at the end is to subscribe to inspire and ignite inspire my youtube channel inspire and ignite uh, like us on facebook and also follow us on google plus to get all updates on mtech admissions because we are we have been covering mtech admissions for get get admissions like uh, get qualified students and non get uh, mtech admissions are also going to be covered so with this i think uh, I wish you all a very good luck and thanks for watching the video and following I and I for all your uh, educational needs. See you in a while in in couple of days maybe with the, with the more information on the tools. See ya. Bye bye.